and the award for the most boldest marketing campaign of 2020 goes to none other than Deepika Padukone. And look, what if you're a Deepika Padukone fan, or if you don't like her after the recent set of events, you know what? Make sure to watch the full video before you, you know, start dropping hate in the comments. This is not a political discussion. This is a purely marketing discussion. It's a marketing perspective. So make sure to hit the subscribe button before we begin. So I'm sure you are aware of the recent set of events. You know, if you're not aware of what's really happening, you're probably living under the rock. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But you know, I'm sure you're aware that Deepika went to JNU recently to express her solidarity with the students, which is a you know, great move. But you know, keeping the politics aside, you know, I want to look at the set of events from a marketing perspective. And if you think about it, her PR agency, Spice, which is what also came out in the news that Spice was behind the PR campaign. Now, I'm not saying it's a PR move, it's a marketing move. Maybe she really felt for the students, which is good, but that's a political discussion. My discussion here is purely from a marketing angle. So, you know, this move is a pure play of principle of association. The principle of association in marketing. You know, what exactly is this principle? If you want to get your content going viral and if you want more social shares, if you want more engagement, the age old strategy is to associate with something that's already trending on social media, right? Or that people are talking about. And what are people talking about this time? Right? The entire country is talking about or witnessing a mass protest. And you know what? Deepika associated with the protest. Now, I would typically use this strategy, let's say, with what's happening in the world, like Trump, the US-Iran war, and you know, probably somehow try and find an angle in which I could associate my product or service with the existing controversy so that you know people are already talking about this and my product gets a spike. And which is exactly what Deepika did here, and I'm sure it was the suggestion of a PR agency that the entire country is talking about, you know, the events that happened at JNU and the students getting beaten up and she went there to express her solidarity although she did not directly say something but you know her presence there was enough for the whole of media and even social media to start talking about it you know her presence there is being talked about as her support for one party and it's against the other party and so on and so forth there are so many discussions about her there are debates about it and you know if you think of it from just a pure marketing perspective. Now, isn't that something that's very, very common when a movie releases? And I'm not saying that, you know, Deepika did that just for the publicity or it's a PR stunt. Maybe, maybe not, I'm not aware. And I don't think most people talking about it are aware of what's happening behind the scene. But if we look at it from a purely marketing perspective, it's a great move because it got so much attention and still is getting so much attention, right? Because even I made a video about this topic because it's trending and you know what? I am exactly doing what she did, which is using the principle of association because Deepika is trending at this point. I'm associating this video with her and which is what she did, right? So if you see, that's how marketing works. That's the principle of association. But you know what? One thing I need to give it to Deepika, that's a really, really bold and a brave move because with the movie on the line, with what she has to lose and you know, with everything that she has on stake, taking a political stand was a big bold move because this can really cost her who knows only time will tell but you know from a boldness perspective thumbs up to Deepika from a marketing perspective thumbs up again I'm not talking about this from any political ideology right whatever happened I have a political view about the incident but this video is not at all a political talk it's just to talk about the marketing perspective and you know from a marketing perspective i think she really killed it i think that was a brave move and she associated with something that is contrarian and controversial and you know what very few marketers have the power to associate with the controversial and the contrarian so a big thumbs up to Deepika for you know 
selecting and choosing to do what she did and you know what i don't know how it's going to affect the movie will the sales increase will it decrease by the looks of it it seems like the sales are going to go up and not just the sales you know the whole persona that deepika has and you know how people relate to her is going to take a tremendous hike because now she, by doing this she represents and you know embodies herself as somebody who's a strong woman somebody who's bold and somebody who stands for the oppressed in a way in the society so i think she's also going to win a lot of hearts with this move personally she's going to you know make a lot of fans of course she'll also make a lot of enemy and that's the whole principle behind this marketing strategy so is us versus them you know it's you that you support something and you make the other side the enemy but all in all when a marketing campaign is created on us versus them there's a lot of traction it gets a lot of attention a uh, lot of people talk about it and you know all these campaigns most likely end up generating a lot of sales of course they end up making a lot of enemies but they end up making a lot of sales and they turn the figure or the product or the personality into a super man or a super woman i should say in this uh, matter all right so let me know your thoughts about the campaign only from a marketing perspective this is not a political discussion maybe we can you and i could talk about the politics some up the time but from a marketing perspective what do you think what kind of a move was that do, did you like the move do you think it was too risky for them to come let me know in the comments below